when you want to change your account on Google Drive, all you need to do is flick your account and it changes. It's so convenient. This even works with Gmail now. When you want to share a big file by Google Mail, Gmail, you can't. That's where Google Drive comes in. Let's look at that today, shall we? So back in the day when you try to send a big file, when I say big, I mean bigger than 25 MB. When you try to send this file via Gmail, Gmail told you, you can't do it. You have to send it via Google Drive. But now when I try to like, let's just look at this image, for example, this is a big one. It's 25 plus megabytes where I don't live exactly over here, but not too far away from here. Okay. It's a beautiful place. So when I try to drag this into my email window, it still attempts to send it, but it tells me that it will go as a Google Drive link. Now, I won't let it finish because I want to go ahead and decide where in Google Drive this guy is going to live. Now, I have a special place for heavy images on my Google Drive. I put it there and sometimes use uh, download it on my phone and uh, use Google Drive for that to and fro for heavy images. Depending on the use, you know, sometimes I even want to send it to my friends. So then that's where Google Drive comes in. Others I can just use Handshaker. If you don't know what that is, then check out that video. To go into Google Drive and manage where this image goes myself, like manually to manage it, I'll have to open Google Drive and you know how to do that, right? It's that magic URL that we've been rehearsing all this while. If you've been here around, you know what I'm talking about something.something.com product.google.com in this case the product is drive so drive.google.com so let's just go straight into it i'm visiting drive.google.com these are all the files in my google drive everyone's looks different right so this one's mine and uh, i want to put it inside instagram so let's just say i drag it in over here and it's uploading to share this and get that magic link that we were speaking about all you need to do is right click and hit on get shareable link. This is your shareable link. So if you just paste it in a new incognito tab, it should work. There, it should work. Now that the link is copied, go back to your email and just paste that link. So when someone receives this link, they'll click on it and they'll view just that image, although it was bigger than 25 MB. If you understood all that I said, then that's awesome. You can head out now. But if you want to hear me talk some more about Google Drive, back to Joshua Outdoors. So you see, Google Drive is just like a pen drive. Now, virtual pen drive, which is on steroids, but finally a pen drive. What we love about these little devices is the fact that they are so accessible and they work with every computer. How this works though is really smart. So when you send out a link, instead of sending the file physically, that is embedding it into the email and sending it, instead of doing that, Google just allows the recipient access to that file on your server. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I say server, check out this video. I've spoken about the server thing in detail in that video. And this is smart because it doesn't make two or three or four copies of the same file when you send it to different people. There's just one file on your server and Google allows your friends to access it. So if you share a whole folder instead of a file, for example, then your friend has access to everything within the folder. Well, that was the point of this video to tell you guys why there is a need for that little link and why do we need Google Drive at all. I hope that was helpful. The reason that I make these videos so basic is to help people who don't know anything about this to start understanding it. I mean, I've had my good share of frustration when I try to learn French, when I try to do a new job here in France. There's so many things that I'm doing for the first time. And I know that a friendly conversation can go a long way in helping you get to something. And that's what I'm doing over here, having a friendly conversation with you so that you can use your tech better. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video, guys. I'll see you guys next week. And in the meantime, keep learning. Oh,